Hey guys, my name's Wobbly Robot, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pontifract, the text-based adventure horror game. So where we left off, we just went through this castle, and we found a dead king on a throne, we killed a bunch of people, and we just ran this old dead lady through and took a key from her skull. So we're gonna go back to the Great Hall. And we're back here, so can we go? What's this courtyard? Does that just bring us back to where we were? Yeah, so that's back to the chapel and a stronghold. Whoa. Okay, we read that. Okay. <laughs> Directly before you at the far end of the Great Hall, a solid black door seethes against the dark stone wall. So we're going to do that. You approach the black door and set your eyes upon its three keyholes, retrieving the collected keys from your pocket and inserting them one by one. As your hand leaves each one, they turn by themselves before withdrawing into the door and disappearing. The final key disappears, and for a moment, there is only silence and stillness. Then, with a groan that sounds nearly human, the black door sinks down to the stone floor at your feet, disappearing from sight. Beyond the doorway is a narrow stairway, leading down into the void. You begin descending the stone steps. Your feet make no sound as they touch each new step. Soon the light of the Great Hall is gone behind you, and you are surrounded on all sides by perfect blackness. You continue to descend. There is no sound nor light to reassure you of your own existence, only the feeling of the stone wall beside you and against your outstretched palms. The stairway feels as though it is narrowing. The castle whispers to you. Dost thou at every hall draw out thy sword? From whither comes this eagerness to slay? Thy lust for blood and anguish sees thee cursed. To suffer ever this accursed day. You stand at the center of the castle dungeon. A wretched looking man robed in king's garb lays before you, his sunken eyes finding yours in the thin, acred light of the lone torch on the wall. The man's forehead is riven and scarred as though a crown that once rested there had been torn away. All at once you know this man to be the rightful king. A thin moan escapes his lungs, but his face expresses no emotion as he watches you. Do we entreat the rightful king for mercy, or do we draw our sword and slay the sundered king? Well, seeing as we're kind of cursed, we might want to change our way, and we're going to show mercy on the king. You attempt to kneel before the rightful king, ready to apologize for your wrongful deeds and vow yourself to his cause, but your body resists you. The castle shudders and the walls begin to wail, and your head is filled with the lurching, ragged language of the stones. No, kill him. Apparently, I don't have a choice. You stand at the center of the castle dungeon. Oh, it's the same thing. So can we try it again? To give mercy? And we get the same thing. We have to kill him. Back to our old ways. Your body acts against your wishes. Your very veins seem filled with some abhorrent whimsy. Your muscles seized and hooked by wires of an unnamed force. Your hand moves to the handle of your sword, your arm rising to unsheath the weapon. The king watches you, his eyes never leaving yours. You pull against yourself, screaming wordlessly at your arm to stop, but you're helpless to control the actions of, the, of a body which, though yours, seems the vessel of something else. The king leans forward and whispers to you. Grief boundeth where it falls. You are once again consumed by the void and sent reeling and tumbling into the lightless bowels of the castle. 
a hateful stone the hateful stone walls press against you grinding against you chewing you like great and unrelenting teeth your body breaks and tears blood fills your mouth and your eyes encoat your skin your flesh is stripped away from your muscle which then dissolves off your bones which are ground up into dust you The forest around you churns and howls. The inky black canopy above you bleeds into the endless, unyielding maroon sky to form an oppressive and seemingly inescapable ceiling which threatens at every moment be to crush you beneath its hateful mass. The ground beneath your feet moves and swells, twists and tumbles, tripping and disorienting you in your flight. And the air shakes with the cacophious din of a thousand furious night creatures. You begin to run. This was good. I I like this. I I like the storytelling. I like this. I might give this another playthrough to see maybe if there's another ending. Maybe if we don't kill everything we run into. And I don't know. We'll see what happens then. But anyway, this is cool. You can try it out for free as usual. Download links in the description. I like this. This is cool. I, I enjoy adventure-based games and the whole create-your-own-adventure stuff. I like that. I've always been a fan of that, so th this is this is really cool for me. But anyway, thanks so much for watching my video. I'm Wobbly Robot. I'll see you guys in the next video, and wherever you are in the world, I'm hoping you're having an awesome day. Have a good one, everybody. J -j 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 Jump scare! Are we just back here? What? Oh! Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. I hear it. I hear you. Oh. Okay. 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 No. Oh.